I'm going to do some Valheim today because um, I it, I just have that feeling that Ashlands is imminent because they have been putting things about how to access the PTR when it comes out, which is a public test branch, public test realm, whatever. Um, so I just, it feels like it's going to happen really soon. They haven't said when it's going to happen. Uh, I will be covering Ashlands because Valheim is one of my main games. I would quite like to get through all the content pre-Ashlands because I want to like warm up and I kind of want to make some videos about Valheim. Okay, this is where I try and read really quickly. Long ago, the old father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the 10th world, then split the boughs which held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields with the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've read that out on stream now. Many, many, many times. I like starting things, don't I? Creatively devours the cookies. Oh, gosh. My goodness. Here we go. We're on our Valkyrie friendo. I have put draw distance on, like, really far so that we're, as we descend, we can look at what we're over. I can't see anything yet. It's because I want to know. Ooh, I see Idrisil already. Hello, sir. The big world tree friendo. I don't see anything yet. Oh, ocean. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared of the sea. I'm so scared. Interesting. We don't usually spend this much time flying over this. Oh my god. Are you going to drop me on a freaking island? Never. It's never going to happen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, our spawn is on an island, friends. Thank you, Valkyrie. And here we are, in the rain. Yes. <clears throat> Who could this be, I wonder? Welcome to the Tenth World, warrior. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Thank you, sir. I'm going to immediately click on this Veg Vizier, which will show me where the first boss location is. Um, he's going to tell me about that. Come on, buddy. This stone is a Veg Vizier. Those ma these magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Aegvir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Thank you, sir. So there's always some bits around these stones. Uh, what do you call it? Raspberries, if I can remember. And mushrooms. And uh, you can eat those. There we go. And there's usually some like sticks and things as well. Yep, a bit of stick, a bit of stone. As you pick up items, you'll remember recipes. And Hugin will pop up to tell you about stuff. Oh, our first friendo. You'll immediately spawn in with a with a torch if you've never played before. And the first creatures you run across are afraid of fire. So you can... But if you put it away, he'll come back to you. You can also punch him. You have only very little health when you first start. Hi, buddy. This music makes me so happy. There we go. Get a branch. So now we've learned a recipe because we got uh, resin from him. So we have the recipe to craft a, a torch. There you go. This is our inventory on tab. You can see this is because of a mod. This is, I forget what the name of the mod. You can check Mods Valheim if you want to see the list. Um, I'm going to put my food in here. And hopefully, yeah, X is still not bound. X is a defaulted, uh, as, as a default, X is your sit um, button. What do you call it? Let me turn this up. Let's get the volume right. How is that volume? Are, you, are we good? Um, yes, what was I going to say? Yes, but I've rebound it so that I can use the X, C and Z from this mod, which gives me a couple of extra things. Right, what do you want, Hugin? A tasty You're morsel. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Calandros, thank you for ordering me dinner. That's very nice of you. Let me take my phone off. It isn't on silent anyway. Beautiful. Thank you, Kel. That's very nice of you, lovely. Um, you have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before too long you will grow hungry again. 
so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Oh god, I just want to get that thing. Thank you, bud. So, um, vegetables give you extra stamina, uh, meaty foods give you more health. You want to kind of go with, start with probably like as many um, veggie foods as you get in the beginning and then you want to move towards maybe two health and one stamina foods to give you a bit more survivability. Take stock of your inventory. Most items will be, must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. We've got our first friend, Sir Boink. I'm gonna kill him. He's also afraid of uh, fire, but if I unequip the torch, he'll run back to me. There we go. There we go, we got a bit of ball. <sighs> There's nothing better than the beginning of this game, honestly. I don't think there is. Um, so this is where we're gonna respawn when we die, unless we um, put a bed down, basically. And because we've clicked on this requisite already, we have the location of our first boss, who we need to defeat to get a pick as a reward. And each time you progress through a biome, you move from one biome to the next. I've got to swim across there. This has never happened before. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely make sure you eat stamina foods. Uh, we could do with getting rested. Do we have what we need to make a fire? Can I make um? What do I need? Another piece of, of wood. If I get rested, my stamina regeneration will be better. I'll have more stamina. Do I have a bit of wood? We got a tree here. Okay, we can get some wood. Da -dun, da -dun. Tell him Rusty. Anything with our home is it seems lonely in their world. Yes, I agree with you, you know. I think if you're, like when I'm streaming, I don't find it lonely, obviously, because I'm with all of you lot. I nearly said that Y apostrophe A double L word. word. I'll never say it ever, never. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if I'm not streaming, I do think it's quite a lonely game. And I think it's really, really nice with people. Uh, which is where our community server really comes in, you know. Um, let's make a hammer. Sweet. Now I can make a fire. Don't, I don't know if I have what I need for that. Right click. I need five stones. Hi, buddy. Hi. I love these guys. So we need to start blocking as soon as possible because we need to increase our skills in all things. Um, different types of weapons give you different kinds of skills, which you need to level up for each type of weapon. You need to level up your blocking as early as possible. Do you want to come hit me? Come on, you bellend. Sir, so, I don't even have my torch out. Come and hit me. I'm trying to demonstrate something. They're not very obedient, these things. You get a parry boost. Come on, hit me. You can just block these things with uh, just your fists. But you'll want to make a shield to give you a better block and a better parry bonus. It's very fun. Absolutely love it. There we go. What do you want, Hugin? You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you'll raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other buildings. Thank you, sir. Before we make a workbench, we're going to want to put that under some shelter. Um, oh, I guess we're just going to, like, risk it for a biscuit. Da -da. If you run out of stamina whilst you're swimming, you will start to drown. And if you don't have a lot of health, um, you will die. <laughs> this isn't too far. I'm just incredibly careful because I quite often have played this game in permadeath mode. And so I just really don't take risks. Um, I don't think this is going to be permadeath because I just want to yeet and get through the game and practice and, you know, warm up and stuff for passions. Because I don't want to make guides until I'm, like, warmed up properly. So I don't want to kind of give myself any restrictions. We're going to play it like pretty vanilla, although with some mods, I guess. Um, you'll find these little cupboards and some mushrooms in them. Do we get shelter? You do get shelter in here. If I placed a fire outside of there, I would get, I would get a lot of restingness. 
Um, okay, well, we're on terra firma, which is good. We can read our little, like, stones and things. Heed these words of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood. All you need to build a house. You'll need to craft a roof to keep out the rain. Then you'll need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door or it will be much harder to go in and out. <laughs> Wise words. These things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes them on this stone to help others. Pray to Odin for his soul. <laughs> A nice sense of humor. Oh, we found a little house we could live in if we wanted to. Da -dun, da -dun. Have a quick snack. So, really, the first thing we need to focus on is getting rested. Um, this is the discovery music. Oh, some stones on the ground. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We won't have a pick to be able to mine bigger stones until we defeat the first boss. So, we have to just rely on picking stuff up. What is like quick take? Isn't that like a shift? No? Control, that's it. Should we um should we just make this our first resting place? Gosh, I might die today because um I am super rusty. <laughs> we'll see, shall we? Okay, we got a fire. So we could just sit next to that fire and we could get rested. Uh which I've got on insert. We'll get rested. But if we sit underneath... Um, <laughs> it's a little friend. If we sit inside the house or under some shelter while we do it, we get rested for longer. It's a bonus. Go. So let's do up this little shack, shall we? Um, we need to place a crafting bench in order to build. So let's get some more wood. Ooh, Boars. If I find a one-star boar, no, no stars. Okay, kill anything that doesn't have a star. And if you find a starred boar, save it. Try and tame it. Um, what do I need? Wood. Okay, let's get some wood. Build a build a bridge. Yes. And I'd be fed, yes indeed. It's an outhouse, a loop in the wild. The horrible first house, the roof isn't high enough. Yeah, Kel's very concerned about me not taking full damage, definitely. Do, do, do. Stamina is so bad. Okay, let's get some more snack edges. Raspberries. Um, this little ready in a certain amount of time is because of my farming mod. Plant everything, I think it's called. So it just tells me how long it's going to be in before it respawns. Um, there we go, so we keep fed. Dun, 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 dun. Are those roach people? They're like undead tree people who were once murderers. Wait, I can zoom out of my map. Look at that. Look at that spawn point was just over the water. That's crazy. I've never spawned um, on an island before. That is kind of funny. I don't know what their like rules are in the game, um, preventing like craziness. I don't know. I haven't even looked around really. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, they're, they're kind of cute and funny, but they're actually quite creepy, the story behind them. How is the volume? Is it a bit loud? Am I drowned out a bit? It seems really loud. Is it... is it in here? I have it on normal. Hmm. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Welcome. Okay, do we have what we need? We do. Let's go make ourselves a crafting bench. And then we can make a, an axe and stuff. Fix up our little house so we've got somewhere safe. Because nighttime is dangerous in Valheim. 
Ah, killing things in Valheim. So much fun. It's a neck. We'll keep the meat when we get it. Because we can make poison resist potions with that. Do, do, do. Did I even get rested? I didn't. I'll tell you what I should do before I do anything else is get rested. Because I oh, look at them still coming over. Whenever there's a um, an enemy nearby, it won't let you rest. But we need a few, couple of seconds. Bum. Bum, ba -dum. He's seen me, and now I can't get rested. He's afraid of the fire. I don't actually know if he'll come over and hit me because the fire's here. I don't think he will. He'll just run around, but I, I won't be able to get rested, so we're going to, like, deal with him. There we go. So you see I've leveled up in clubs because the torch counts as a club, and clubs, clubs do uh, blunt damage, which is actually very effective. Come on now, let's get rested. I believe in us before anyone else spawns in. Um, while we're here, we can look at our skills. You can see we've leveled up to six in running, uh, four in clubs, six in fists, two in blocking already, and then there are others. And as you learn new skills, the, this list will get longer. But it's a good idea to block as early as possible, really. So that's going to save you when you come to boss fights. There we go. So now we have eight minutes of rested, which means our stamina is better. Uh, it will say here, rested. You feel rested, health and stamina regeneration are higher. Health regeneration is plus 50%, stamina regen 100%, uh, plus 100%, and Aether regeneration, which is a magical, um, like, mana in, later in the game, which we haven't reached yet. There we go. Um, right, crafting bench. I just want, like, a... I thought I heard the stomp of a troll. <laughs> Freaking classic. Um... So what I want to do first is just get enough shelter for it. Can I access it? Yeah. Repair my stuff. And make an axe. There we go. So I can get some wood. Beautiful. Um, now I'm going to move it just outside so it's not in the way. Wait. Not Q. What have I got that on? What have I got my destroy on? See, I've learned a bunch of recipes because I've accessed it. Um, what is it? What is it called, peeps, when you destroy something? Attack, secondary attack. I'm missing something. Mouse two. Deconstruct. So I think the default is the middle mouse button. And materialize. But I I changed it to Q, I thought. I just don't know why it's unbound. I'm like obviously missing something here. Deconstruct mouse two. What is mouse two? Um, let me just change it to Q. There we go. I didn't see it on the right. There we go. Let's just click save briefly. There we go. Q is my preferred way of doing it. Thank you, people. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm super out of like habit. Yes, let's just get rid of this little bed because we can't use it. And then let's try and rebuild our house. Let's place our crafting bench out here. It doesn't need to have shelter unless we want to access it. So we need to build and we're going to initially... We're going to repair with left click using the build hammer. Uh, the There's a small radius for that crafting bench. So we've got to make sure we put it close enough to what we're repairing or building or whatever. Now the first goal really for me at night time uh, on the first day is just to get a little bed set up, a little fire so we can skip the night. Because usually I do permadeath. I'm probably not going to do this as permadeath because I want to like race through the content as much as possible. 
And I don't want to be worrying about that because I play very differently when I'm doing permadeath. Sometimes I just want to yeet like a lunatic. Um, so let's build some little roof pieces. Line them up. There are, there are more snapping points than there used to be in this game if you played a while ago. Um, just going to make sure we put the little cross there and then a little door. Just to have a little privacy. We need a bit more wood. So we can use our axe. Get some treeage. I could break this, but I kind of like leaving logs. So let's focus on these little saplings, which won't grow back. Um, if you want the appearance of these saplings, though, you can use the plant everything mod uh, to replace them, and they just won't grow into anything. If you want to kind of replace the decoration, which is one of the reasons why I like using mods in this game. Uh, President the small game company manages to much more of its own thing. Many survival games you see play. Yeah, it is. I have a lot of respect for them, honestly. Check the mirror. My mind has been usually quiet. I'm worried I'm up to something that I don't I don't want myself to know about. Check the mirror, I see. Yeah. We can also use our axe as a weapon. And it'll be quite effective against these little friendos. You can also block with it as well with right click. There we go. Look at this gorgeous game. Can I right, what is hide my freaking HUD? I have troll paranoia, people. Um, remind me. It's an F number. It's not F5. It's not F1. F1 is my mod menu thingy. It's not F2. Oh god, did I, did I, wait, 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 am I disclosing my feed here? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, shift and an F key. It's not here, is it? I don't want to remember. Hello, Mars. You're fine, it doesn't show seeds, yeah. I don't remember what it was. It's been a minute, honestly. Besides, like, you're a bit of a boomer and you, like, play a bunch of different games. It's like, what? How? which button does this? I kind of need to make sure that everything does has the same buttons these days, but I never get round to it. And then I come back to games and I'm like, oh... Here is our uh, eighth deer location, the first boss location. We need to kill some deer before we can uh, def fight, fight eighth here. We could have stayed in that house as well, couldn't we, over there? Um, should we fight you, brother? Come on then. They have a nice, obvious wind up before they attack you, so it's it, you get the rhythm of it, and you it, it's not too hard to time your parry. Let's put in a little door. Do I have 10 wood to make a bed? I do. Oh, bugger. Listen, you scared me. Don't do that. So if I don't put my torch away, he will continue to run away from me. And I don't want to have a fight that goes on for like six years. Besides, enemies will spawn when night falls. So I kind of want to be asleep before then. Furniture, bed. There you go, night has fallen. There we go, click on the bed to claim it, set your spawn point, and then sleep. Don't mind about Hugin. He kind of glitches out if you don't speak to him first. Ooh, con is it con shift F control F3? Is that what it is? Um, is it control F3? Are you telling me to alt F4 or something? I, d I don't ask. Oh, Hugin, are you blocking me? Let's speak to him. Head rest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. <coughs> Anna. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Thank you, Hugin. Um, are we happy with this location? I think we're okay. So we could destroy this box and any box we make will have more storage capacity. Um, they just start off with very little we go so we can put some stuff in here if we want to and go off exploring 
Um, I will keep resin. Um, oh, somebody's come to greet us. Oh, a friendly fellow. Hello. Come on then. Come on then. As you level up in axes, you'll do more damage. Good. Okay. Time for some exploration. Let's see what we have here. What do you want, Hugin? Uh, we actually need to put the bench inside so that we can repair our stuff, actually. Um, and we could do with a little bit of a, a house, um, a little bit of a cover for our fire in case it's raining when we come back. We won't be able to sleep unless it's a fire. Bum, ba, dum. Do, 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 do. I have to place the bench so it's not sticking out the roof. If it clips out the roof too much, yes, yeah, too exposed. I think Q to delete that now. Um, I might just move the bed. Oh, bugger. Let's do this. Let's put the crafting bench back here. It's like super minimalist. It's big size. And then the bed just here, maybe. Is it close enough to the stuff? Can we use everything? Yes. Perfect. Let's replace our boxes. It's a very minimalistic house, honestly. Eeny tiny. Okay. Um, we need to cook our meat. I need to get more stuff. Don't really need that fair trophy. Do I have a? Do I have a, like a trash button? With my mod. Um, yes, I saw one just there. Here. Trash. Okay. What do you want, Hugin? You have built a workbench. A workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots more build pieces to construct with the hammer. Thanks, bud. Yeah, so we can just repair stuff by clicking on the thingy. Uh, anything else I need to make? So I want to be making myself a, a bow as soon as possible. Um, so I need to kill some boars to get leather scraps and then some more wood. And we'll make ourselves a bow and some arrows just so we can kill deer. Because we need to get a bunch of deer thingies. Deer are kind of harder to kill unless you have a ranged weapon. I'm like, I like to play quite like zoomed out of my character just because it's a bit safer really. Personal preference. And we saw some boars. Um... Wait, let me just do the fire thing, actually. Dun, dun. Do I have enough wood? just want to pop a little cover here so that that fire hopefully will be covered enough. If it isn't, you can put a couple of bits to the side of it just to give it a bit of shelter because it needs shelter. Um, so I need a spit to cook the meat on. I need a bit more wood. Let's grab a bit. Oh, what do you what do you think, people? How long do you think we'll have to wait till uh, Ashlands comes out? It feels imminent to me. Hello, Valentin. Hello. How goes it? Valheim in BD, yes. Somewhere between 12th and 17th key. I just pressed down which one was it? I know. I know. What was it? Shift? I don't think I... which buttons it was we need to i need to be able to hide my herd because i'm gonna take pictures because the game's pretty right hit me am i over encumbered am i oh i'm in walk mode or something oh sh yes it is shift f3 you've got to hold shift okay well done people i'm in okay i'm fine i have to get used to this again <laughs> Hello, Steel. How are you doing? Did you know that in Norse myth, Hugin and Munin are meant to represent Odin's thought and memory? Okay. Um, as he's getting old, he's afraid that he'd lose Munin. I didn't know that. 
I thought they were just annoying birds. Um, let's get my HUD back on. Okay, shift and F3. Well done, people. I have to get used to, like, feeling so slow when I move until... I don't know, there's like a bit of a delay and stuff. I'm just so out of practice. I have to be careful, like, um, about jumping around as well because fall damage in this game is so brutal. Um, doo -doo. It's very chill, though. After July. Uh, after Oh, you reckon it'll be after July, do you think so? Mind you, the, winter, the PTR must be soon, or PTB, because they've just been talking about... Um, how to access the PTB on their Discord, like a reminder of how to do it when the time comes. And it seems like it might be imminent. Also, Abby. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Da, dun, dun, dun. Wood cutting 12 already. We are going to need a bunch of wood to make arrows anyway. I think V is, uh, what do I have my pick auto pickup toggle to, I forget, it used to be V. So I do have my game on a different save than I used to because at one point I did lose my um, saves, I think, I'm not sure. So I think I had to like reset it up, so things might be the way, not be the way they used to be. Dun 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 dun. Do do a bit of deforesting while I get used to the world. Right, you can hit me. I try and let every single... I try and block once for every single enemy at the beginning because you get a lot more uh, levels like earlier on. So it's kind of good practice to just try to make sure everybody gets one hit onto your block. But, um, right. She's lost. Okay. Listen, it, in my defense, it was foggy. So let's place a spit. So we can cook meat. I'm going to need a couple of these. And we've got to really focus now. Everybody focus on not burning the meat. It's difficult. Oh, God. It's the hardest part of this game, me. Just focus. <laughs> I must repair my axe as well. It's everybody looking at me. Focus, people. Whatever you're doing, stop it and stare at the meat. <laughs> Hit me, grayling so much. Oh, dear. So now we can eat the boar meat. We can put it in our little fresh hot bar situation. Press Z. There we go. Okay, now we have a bit more HP, which is good. Oh, the food. Wait, wait, wait. I have returned. Okay, what would we do with cooking? We don't have enough um, headroom for the fire. We do intermittently, so I think they'll do. Because of smoke. Alright, let's repair our sister. We need to go kill some boar friendos. And get some mushrooms and raspberries. Ooh, we also need some flint, so let's go along the coast. Hi! We'll get some neck meat, hopefully, at some point. Hi, bird. Neck tail, there we go. We're going to save those. You can eat them, but I'm going to save them for poison resist potions that we'll craft later, which we're going to need for visiting the swamp. Another one. I have to get a bunch of flint, so I'm going to run along the coastline and explore. Oh. How is everybody doing? What are you up to? Are you working and lurking? Are you playing a game? Hello, Lumito. How you doing? Who goes it to Valheim Day, indeed. I 
I am incredibly rusty, <laughs> embarrassingly, considering how short a time it's been since I've actually played this game. I need to uh, I need to refresh my muscle memory and stuff. Um, we got this wet debuff. Oh, I'm definitely not out of breath. Um, which reduces our stamina, uh, health regeneration, stamina regeneration, and ATO regeneration. Um, you can lose that from sitting by a fire, lose it quicker, or it just pass, just after two minutes. I kind of want to see where the nearest Black Forest is. Um, and just gather resources. Will we find a bee? In a house. Nope. We need to find beehives. Take the bee, take the honey. Then we can make our own beehives. It is very foggy, isn't it? Hi! Deer. Okay, we need deer. There's a bunch there. We don't have a bow yet. We can do the trick. Could do the trick the speedrunners do, which is to like block them. But I just, I don't have the confidence. Look, look at that. I mean, I didn't do badly. It took me about six of those. Back here. No, 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 no. Don't go away. There we go. Okay, this, I've never had so much luck, honestly. <laughs> Usually I completely fail at doing that. Usually I just wait till I've got my uh, bow and stuff. Let's get a wood back. Oh, yeah, we need... Oh, my God. We already have two stag heads, which is what we need for the Aether fight, isn't it? Mm hmm I need no bees. There's a chest there. Let's get the cash. Okay, we'll save that for the trader. You can break these down if you place down your crafting bench. You want the wood. And then you can just use your... your destruct button. Unfortunately, it means that you lose the vines that are on the building. You can choose to like repair it or just leave it. Um, but they are adding vines apparently in the next update, which is kind of exciting. Otherwise you need to use the plant everything mod, which we do have on this playthrough. Nice. Um. <laughs> Are we going to fight Aethir already? I am so underprepared. I need like a bunch of stones if we're going to cheese him. Dun, 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 dun. I can't carry all this wood. I'm going to leave that bit. Uh, how much is it? Ten. So I can make a stack of wood if I want to. Which will never um, expire. It'll just stay there forever. It can get broken. Um, I can mark it. How do I mark you? Squirrel? Right click? Left click? There it is. Um, I'll just leave it there so I know it's here. We need a bit of space. Boot in a boot. Dun dun. Let's make sure we gather any raspberries or... Or mushrooms. Oh my god. Bit of boar surfing. Beautiful. I ran out of rested. Which is not great. So we should get top that up. Um, let's deal with these turd wallets. Any enemies nearby? I don't think so. Let's get rusted. We could use that little house if we wanted to. That would be the smart thing. We play this game now, I stuck. I, I can't find my next 
named. You can't find the next boss. Which boss are you uh, stuck on, Brett? Uh, can't wait for Ashton. Me too. I think like a bit of cheese with your roasted steak. I know, and we managed to get the two like heads we needed. Here we go again. Yes, Hannah. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, chopped up. Badum. See what's in this box. Put your torch away, lady. Feathers we need for arrows. There's like a one star deer. Which would be kind of cool to get the head from, but we already have the head that we need, I guess. Um, should we try? So there is sneaking in this game. We use control. It uses stamina. When you run out of stamina, you come out of sneak. If you, as you level your sneak, um, it uses less stamina. You can stop in your tracks to regenerate it, and you get a bonus. There you go. Deer trophy. You're more likely to get deer trophies from them, but now we have three deer trophies. So this is a great start for like fighting egg there quick. Alright. Um let's do some exploring. I want to run along the coast so I can see what's what's what. I need to find some mushrooms. What is my put my weapon away thing? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Another ball. So we need like eight scraps, don't we? If we get lucky, we might find um an a battle what is it called? Like a shipwreck. And if we find a shipwreck, we can use we can get fine wood without a bronze axe. And then we can make a fine wood bow. Um Which is a really good thing to do early game. So I might not try and make a crude bow yet, because that uses up a lot of resources. There's a fish in the water. But, um, should be some bones, yep. Bones, and sometimes there's a bit of treasure in these things. But, um, bum, bum. Those are rasps. We'll get all of these. Oh, if I hold down shift and then I press interact, um, I get everything in a radius because of uh, plant everything. Or mass farming. I think it's mass farming mod. Exclamation mark mods, Valheim, if you want to see. Come here. Come on. Come on. I'm like a master hunter right now. So I'm quite far from my bed. Um, We could sleep somewhere else. There's another ache there. Nope. What is it though? So it's just the end of a stump. Um, we could sleep in here. Okay. So in that case, we need fire. Bum, bum. Bum, ba -dum. Workbench. Bed. We should be able to sleep here. Too exposed. What if I repair it? Maybe? No. Bugger. What if I move it? Oh, it's because there's a piece missing. Okay, let's just replace that piece. Music's very good at making you feel slightly uneasy. There we go. Now we can skip the night. No door, no roof, just roughing it, you know. <sighs> Need a bow to take down deer. I already did it, Brett. I managed to take him down by putting a couple of spits down just to block their path. And now we have what we need to defeat uh, to take on Aikthir. I think it's two of those we need. Um, so we're rested. Um, we're just going to leave this here, I guess. 
this uh, this little bench is going to block spawns in a radius. Um, do I have any meat to cook? I do, and I really could do with cooking it. Um, if I just put like a little cover here, and then I can put some crafting's not the raft. I have never used the raft. I am like famously terrified. Not fam famous is the wrong word, but like known for being terrified of the sea in games and particularly in this game. And yes, I've used all the all the boats in this game, but I have never really used the raft, I don't think, still. Yeah. Um map stones. Let's cook our boar meat to like super focus. As soon as I hear a sizzle, I have to pick it up, otherwise it'll burn and turn into coal. I don't want to cook neck meat. Shit. Let's break these. Let me throw the neck meat on the ground so I don't cook it, because I want to save that. Probably should use it early game, really, but I'm just so used to saving it for whatnot. Okay. So I want to cook the... The deer meat and the boar meat. There we go. Because I have a craft room containers mod, I have to be careful that if this meat is in a box, it, it'll automatically fill the fire as I click on it. Gotta keep an eye on that. There was a time a random boat floated up in the community village on the community server. Really? Did it? Wasn't it your boat that got loose? Oh, it just like sailed in, did it? Like a ghost ship. Did you manage to cap capsize? I did capsize a large boat. Yep, that's very true, actually. On a permadeath run. Yep, that is very true. I was already terrified. Yep. You can watch them. I made a video out of that in a kind of an arty farty kind of edited way, which I'm kind of proud of, actually. Um, if you want to watch it, it's on my channel. It's called The Worst Happened, I think. Yeah. Ugh. It was kind of terrifying, but chat helped me through it, definitely. Sail away. Oh my god. Yeah. It was scary. Okay, we did the thing. Let's pick up our meat, because we anything we leave here, I'm probably never going to come back for, let's face it. Um, right, let's repair stuff on our little bench, which means we've got to put it under cover. Dun, dun, dun. Um, can I put it on the bed? Yeah. Can I access... Come on now. There we go. <laughs> so I have what I need to make the bow, but actually, um, I don't really need a bow now because I have the meat that I need. I have the trophies that I need to fight Aethir. So now I'm in a quandary because I've advanced way too quickly for my own liking. Um, I still could do with a bow, but I'm probably going to see if I can find, um, what's it called? A boat. Yeah. I'm going to use a shield. Um, it's going to give me a parry bonus of 1.5. What else do I want? I kind of want a club. The skeletons. As I run across them. There we go. Torches I don't need urgently. Is anything else? I could make a knife. I have no, no idea what I'm going to use for this playthrough. I'm going to go as like quick and bog standard as possible. Because I just want to get through the content just to like have a refresher of everything. Hello, sir. You have crafted a shield. A shield allows you to block incoming damage. If your timing is perfect, the enemy may also be parried. Be careful, though. If you block too many hits, you'll become staggered. If you block... Oh, the amount... <laughs> I got distracted by the boar. Is that a one-star boar? The amount of damage you can block before becoming staggered depends on your maximum health. So if you plan on take tanking a lot of damage, you should eat food that increases your health. Heavier shields will block more damage, but will also slow you down. Yeah, tower shields are bad. Okay, I thought it was a one-star, honestly. How are they? Boars, it's hard to type, kind of time your parries unless you like spam right click. So I tend to just like hold the shield for them. Um, 
you can just like spam it and then you get more chance of a parry there we go um you'll get more xp if you are rested as well so think about that if you're not if you're running around and not rested and you're worried about not leveling up fast enough it's good to be rested see all this coming back to me now oh jen thank you for the follow dun 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 do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna take, take all the food we can get. My favourite part of this game is the very, very, very beginning. Especially the like running around. You don't know what's on your island. You don't know what you're gonna get. Um, yeah, possibilities are endless. Let me eat some snackages. There we go. Da -da. My health will go up now over time. My stamina is a little bit higher. If I want my stamina to be even higher than this, then I can have two H, uh, two veggie foods. You can have three veggie foods if you want, but then you'll, you won't have very much health. And I prefer to have a bit more health. But if you're doing anything like fishing and you really want a lot of like stamina or swimming a long way, uh, make sure you like uh, level up your swimming if you want to do that as well, or have some stamina potions with you, which will refill your stamina bar. Um, then, yeah, veggie foods are good for that. Do, do, do. So, I just love the fact that you have absolutely no idea when you start what kind of a world you're going to get because it's procedurally generated. Um, and there's every chance you're going to find, like, an island with all of the things on it, you know, and the ability to run to the trader who should be in the Black Forest. Um, sometimes you find a world that's like a supercontinent. Um... And you can run to everything. It's kind of crazy. Um, and I never, ever, ever want to see what my seed is beforehand. I never look it up. I never let anybody know what it is. Because I just want the adventure. Because that's really the biggest draw for this game for me. And adds a lot of replayability. I did see a mushroom. It's right here. Somewhere. Yes. Can I... If I press Shift and E because of my mass farming mods can harvest them all together which is kind of helpful when you can't see them hello sir uh, yeah come on then nice uh, i'm looking around constantly to see if these guys are there's a one star boar that was quick wasn't it So, we haven't planned a home yet. Quite often you might want to decide to set up your first home wherever you find a one-star ball, um, because you need to be near it. But until you've tamed it, as, uh, they will chase you indefinitely. And you can get them to chase you home if you want to. Make sure you've got a little enclosure to trap them. And then you can feed them raspberries or mushrooms uh, or carrots later on if you have those. Um, and they will be your friends. And then you can breed them with another ball um, and the higher the star ones and twos uh, you'll get more meat and more hide from them or whatever it's called is that a sort of swamp is it that would be kind of crazy i have like a, an inbuilt fear of birch trees because you get a lot of birch trees in the plains which is a higher level biome and i'm like i have like phobia i'm <laughs> like a birch tree phobia I see that there and I'm like, oh, is it going to be the planes? But it shouldn't be because the way the world sp uh, spawns, basically, you shouldn't get. You should get mostly um, meadows and uh, black forest in the centre. And as you get further out, you're more likely to get swamp. As you get further out still, you're more likely to get some plains. And then as you get further out, you're more likely to get misslands. And then at the very top, the very bottom, you're going to get ashlands and at the sides you get deep north if i remember correctly oh black forest perfect okay hey i didn't say anything how can you be scared but the first biome that you start in is very um easy comparatively and peaceful and friendly um and you can spend as much time as you want in that biome and it's really when you need higher tier resources that you would move to next the next biomes especially um it's a good idea to defeat the bosses of each biome before you progress because then you get better gear if i chase that um deer into the water and i kill it then the food 
will probably sink. And if it's not in shallow water, then I've lost it. Unless I kind of catapult myself and plop into the water, sink down. Um, there's a shift E. Shift E is only because of mass farming. Bear that in mind. That isn't in the vanilla game. But it's it means that you can harvest things in a radius. This is a cute place. If that was a if there was a one star ball here, um, yeah, I really love that mod because you can also plant in a bigger grid. Well, plant in a grid. There's no grid without mass farming, and you can increase the size of the grid. You can take away the need for stamina whilst planting as well, like when you're placing plants. Um, but it's just really nice. I think when you get later in the game and you have to harvest like a huge like field, field after field, um, it's really nice to do kind of mass. It just, yeah, it just reduces the RSI, as far as I'm concerned. That's the main draw. Um, barbecue for hello Min. Need a bow to get birds. Oh yeah, we do need a bow to get birds. Yep, yep. I'm gonna see if we can find a boat. Um, like a shipwreck before I craft a crude bow. Da -dun, da -dun. Do -do -do. But now, so when I fight Aikthir, I usually do the, the speedrunner strats, which I learned from speedrunners, um, which is to place down fires at his feet. Um, we got our first bee. Yes! Sweet. Okay. So you got two two ways of dealing with a bee. You want to get the bee which is in the beehive. You will get poisoned if you run up to it. There you go. You'll get poisoned. Um, so you obviously if you have very little health, you could die from that. Um, you can just hit it and break it if you want to with your axe. Or you could just hit this whole building and break it. But the easiest thing to do is to just place a, a little, what's it called? crafting bench and just break around it so it loses stability and falls and then you can pick up the bee and the honey and then you can make a beehive of your own at home give it a minute because it might it'll still poison you when it's on the ground we go honey we're going to need a supply of honey for potions and stuff so that's great good first bee and now we've got the recipe for a beehive there you go um, do I need to repair stuff? I guess I could repair stuff while I'm here. Dun, dun. Gotta remember every time you place a bed, it's resetting your spawn. This is a cute little... Isn't this a nice little starter house? Nice and actual, like, high ceiling. Um, should we top up our rested while we're here as well? I don't have any stones. So let's pick up a few stones. Just around here. I need five stones for a fire. There we go. I can place that down and then I can stand inside the shelter and I get more comfort. Um, I do also have a rug. Should I place that down? It'll increase my rested, which may give me... There you go. I should get more comfort. There we go. Four comforts. We get some from the shelter, some from the fire. And then for every like comfort item, like tables, chairs hot tubs <laughs> various things they are on banners uh let's troll outhouse hence the height i wondered what that funny smell was there we go so we're all repaired we've got 11 minutes arrested which will take this little hide thing with us um shall i take that i might leave this here because i can remind myself i can just use this um double click Um, wait, let me get rid of that. How do I... I'm just going to use that. I've got to try and keep my my annotations like super minimal because otherwise they get out of hand and the map becomes so busy I can't even look at it. Ooh, mountain. There you go, because I'm running, pressing shift, I can just press E once. It's really cool. I forget about that. I know. Ooh, I harvested all of them. 
More boars. Another nice little location. What I'm looking for generally when I'm looking for a base location, which I'm kind of casually doing, is I want to be in the meadows and I want to be next to or as close to Black Forest as possible. Because I'm going to need to harvest copper and tin, which you get from that biome, um, pretty early on so I can make better tools and gear. Um, and it's just a pain to kind of transport around. Yes, there are carts in the game, but I would argue that they're not very, you know, useful. <laughs> ah, treasure! First treasure. There you go. And a bit of skeleton remains. Do, do, do. But right now I'm in the kind of just exploration stage. Oh, there you go. Black forest right there. You can tell from the corward trees. Let's get some... Raspies. I'm always interested in anything that just reduces RSI in a game, you know? Because if you play a lot, like I do, and you've really injured yourself in the past, like I have, then I'm like, how can I click fewer times, you know? Um, it's R. Oh, what's the... F oh, what's the... F this is a problem when I see the punchline after us. What is the pirate's favourite letter? To the corner, Valentin. Thank you for your sub submission. Or C, yeah, 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 great. I think Neff's got a fresh batch of cookies on the go. Look at that impressive mountain. Ooh. There we are, Black Forest. Black Forest is more dangerous if you're a beginner. Make sure you, like, conquer the meadow first, or at least make a little home, level up a bit, get some, get some basic gear. Um, make sure you have a decent amount of stamina. Make sure you've run around a lot, because you'll, you'll use less... Okay, I'm ready for my jump scare. You'll you'll lose less stamina if you um, have leveled up running and jumping and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I parry projectiles, my friend. Um, so I should be able to deal with a starred thingy with my shield. Yeah, take a little bit of damage. Wait, what's my roll? There we go. Roll is on my... So roll is right click and uh, space bar, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but I have it. I have made a macro on my mouse, so it does both. There's another starred ball. Of course there is. Oh, God. I want to mark that. See mushrooms. I need those. You can roll to avoid getting hurt. It's a good idea to get used to because I pretty much never do it or never did it. Certainly my first ever playthrough, I never rolled. The tougher these enemies are, they're not going to get staggered when you hit them. hurts Ooh, okay 28 hp i'm out of here let me get my health back up again don't get hit by a stone it's a good way to get killed when your health is low oh, i prefer the axe to the club because the axe is better against them I'm, all of them are okay but the one star guy is a bit of bad news really let's get our hp up a bit fortunately i'm rested Chip away at him. Give parry bonus. Roll away. Health going up. Okay, I rolled, but it was too late. Please don't kill me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I really don't want to die because when I die, I will lose um, progress in my skills. I don't want that. There we go. United. You victorious. <laughs> what was I trying to say? Oh, that was a bit touch and go, wasn't it? 
Hey, no one stars. Let's kill these guys. It'd be funny if I died to a boar now after surviving that. I could do with marking that boar's location. Shall I, shall I build in the Black Forest this time? Instead of, like, doing what I usually do. Bum, ba, dum. I could also, if I wanted to, have used my torch and that would have, like, scared them away a little bit. Um, and I could have used the torch to hit them as well. So I think the boar was down here, wasn't it? So I've got him marked. He, he should stay there and just never despawn. Oh, the drama. It's gonna, Hugan's going to warn me about night time. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night or you're wet, you will suffer from the cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Thank you, Hugan. God, his wings always make me think there's a troll nearby so we can actually sleep in this little shelter we've got for ourselves over here we can use a torch can i get my there we go it's actually in some ways it's just harder for me to see i'm gonna use the torch oh my god you freaking scared me <laughs> jump scare it's like a horror game interesting you block in valheim Block in Valheim and dodge in Conan. Yeah, I guess so. But you get a you get a bonus when you when you block in this game, um, and you just really can't avoid blocking in this game. Like in Conan, I just don't like it because it's on control. I know you can rebind it, but I just don't I don't like blocking. Um, yeah, Conan feels really nice to roll. I don't really like the rolling in this game. So can I put a bed here and just fix it up a bit? Probably there isn't enough shelter for that. Okay, I'll take it. As a preference, yeah, yeah. Valheim, hello Kyria, hello, how are you doing? Pirate's favourite letter is a risk of safe passage from His Majesty King Charles II, of course. There you go. Am I going to have some of this Diet Coke? I think I am, peeps. Kyrgios Steve Plendros. refreshing all right cool uh let's do some repairs which have we marked this isn't it um i don't care about the this trophy here trash um don't care about those this is uh, one of the many mods that i've got i do have a sort button don't i there we go what is that one restock what is q stacked okay okay very handy if you are entirely chaotic as i don't know anyone like that but I, there may be chaotic people amongst you <clears throat> anyway um so we have some stuff should we go and like should we go prepare to fight ache there should we keep exploring um hmm we could loop our way around. Let's keep going, shall we? We're rested. Um, we have plenty of food. We could have we could have cooked a bit more, maybe, but we're okay. I really don't have very much uh, stamina, which is suboptimal. So, are you the one star friendo? No. Come on then. I kind of like getting the um, uh, fist skill up because sometimes you're in the water and you need to defend yourself against a creature. It just comes in handy, really. 
All right, round the coast. Are we going to run through the Black Forest? <laughs> it's a great way to get killed on the first day, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. It also makes fighting boars a bit more interesting. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Ah, the lighting in this game is so nice. Let it begin, let it begin, let it begin. Indeedy. Oh, that stamina regeneration. I, honestly, Conan has spoilt me with stamina regeneration. It's a good job we're doing this warm up. Goodness me. Hi, bird. Is that the one star? I think it might be. I want to avoid him because I don't want to fight him. I don't want to kill him. I might decide to live there and then his uh, his star will be handy. The eye means we're visible to somebody. Once it goes, it means we're in stealth. Graylings always see you. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if they're just immune to stealth. I don't know what it is, but they always freaking blow your cover. That's a good question, I guess. Um, there we go. Is that the only one? Single mushroom. Quite often I mark mushrooms on the map, but sometimes I can't be bothered. The biggest fear in the Black Forest is obviously like a bunch of enemies, but also there are trolls, and they are quite lethal at this stage of the game. move over a lot of ground quickly and they sometimes have a big stick if they have a big stick they've got a big aoe on their attacks so not ones to like sniff at generally try not to sniff them because they smell kind of bad excuse me i heard that i don't, I don't know who that was oh what do we see but there's um there's some of the rocks in the uh, Black Forest will be actually copper, and you need copper. Um, sometimes, and by the edge of the coast, there should be tin as well. You need that to make bronze with your copper. It's a good idea to do a bit of a reconnoiter. Um, and there's also, you need to look out for burial chambers too. Ooh, we got a village! Ooh, a village right next to a Black Forest. Is it not right on the coast though, is it? It is kind of on the coast. Friendo, 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 friendo. Friendo, 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 friendo. Good dear. Good dear. There we go. Tasty snacks. Doo -doo. We should check for bees. You usually hear like a buzzing sound. Fun fact. Big surprise there. And check for boxes with useful loot like. Um, arrows, stuff like that. Coins. If that was a one-star boar, I'd be very tempted to make friends with this place. But the boars will respawn anyway, so... Hi there. I'm not even blocking now. This is where I get very lazy. He didn't see me, so I did more damage, so we one-hit him. Bum, bum. Do 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 No boxes? What is this village? These people are poor. This is an outrage. How am I supposed to steal from them? Hi friend. This is how we make friends, right? <clears throat> no bees, no boxes. They've been looted. Very suspicious looking around in case there's a troll. Okay, there's there's probably a spawner over there or some kind of like group at least of, uh, what do you call them? Grey dwarves. Um, there could be a Veg Vizier, which would show us where the Black Forest boss is, which is kind of handy to find as soon as possible. Sometimes there's one like on the outside of one of those towers or inside one of those towers so it's not a bad idea to creep over there i mean it is a bad idea because we might get killed um but you know know where your exits are dun, 
But, um... Oh, there could also be... Oh, the Skellingtons. Which is where the club comes in handy. They're going to do a lot of damage to us at this stage. Usually with a bow. How are they? I don't know if you can actually get a Veg Vizier if it's a Skelly hut. They do a lot of damage to us. Oh. Is he starred? No. Parry his arrow. Blunt is good, so um, can I use this tree as cover? Trees are the best friend against arrows. Okay. See that yellow? It's good. Let's rush him. Nice. I could have rolled as well, but... Rolling uses a bunch of stamina, and until I have a lot of stamina, I just generally don't use it. Okay, but bone fragments are good. Let's look out. There could be somebody upstairs with a bow and arrow. Ah! Jump scare. That's a war cry. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It was Hugin's wings, right? Is it Hugin's wings? <laughs> You can you always make me think there's a troll nearby every freaking time. Turn back. This is a dangerous place. You have wandered into the Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove your worth by slaying Akefear. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. Oh, he has more to say while we're in the dangerous place. Let's stop for a chat, shall we? Well met, adventurer. Rumour has it some traders have found themselves into the Tenth World. If you find yourself in need of special commodities, you might want to seek them out. One of them sh should be somewhere in a forest, such as this. I'm terribly sorry I can't be more help. You'll have to keep an eye out. So as of the Hilda's Request update, there is a new trader that's been added to the game. There's, there's usually one in the Black Forest. There's usually one in the Black Forest. I'm so scared of trolls. Um, and then there should be another one. Um in a is it a meadow peeps i've like totally forgotten um what was she in she was actually next to a plains i think she's in a meadow so that hilda who is um the trader's sister she will spawn somewhere Whew. anyway when do you first thought the idea to have punching trees producing wood i know yeah whoever thought that i don't know actually Feels like a very arc thing to do. I mean, we haven't had survival games for that long, really, in the scheme of things. Not like this kind of thing. First survival game I ever played was a mobile game, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it's like a te entirely text and sound based. Um, as have you played it, peeps? And it's the one where it basically you have you like you can go in like different directions. Uh, you can choose to sleep, you can choose to like do various things, you can choose to try fishing and things, you've got like a chance of things working or not. I, I kind of enjoyed that. It was my first survival game probably. I don't remember what it's called. Graylings have a massive aggro radius like pre-nerfed mosquitoes. Is that what it is? Bum bum. Usually I'm just kind of looking out for somewhere cosy to live, you know, that I just like the look of. Just trying not to get killed as I do so. My rested is nearly run out, which is really bad news. So let's sleep at, um, let's get rested at this, um, village. Well, well, we've got some shelter and plenty of wood and stuff. We should also mark the village, actually. Get all the rasps. Are you a a star no can't bring myself to kill a star boar until we've got a boar farm dun, dun, dun. not because i'm a kind nice person just because it's inconvenient obviously i'm still a kind nice person <clears throat> come on up people you know i've paid you dun, dun, dun. hi there Stamina is a pain in the butt in this game, unless you, like, manage it properly and unless you know to, like, build a fire, get rested. If you don't bother following the mechanics in the game, 
it, it can be incredibly frustrating, but there are mechanics there to manage each of these things, including stamina potions later on. So make sure you get rested and then complain about it. <laughs> it's okay to not like it, but it is a fun, it is part of the game. It's a big part of the game. It's a challenge. Okay. All right, we've got what we need to make a fire. Dun, dun, dun. Do, do, do. Let's put down this rug, get a bit more comfort. Sometimes I crouch when I'm waiting for my shelter to happen because um, um, it means you're less likely to aggro things because you're in stealth, basically. New Taskmaster tonight, is it? I haven't seen that for a while. I went through a big Taskmaster kind of binge phase on YouTube a while ago. You do, Brett, but you um, only because of the mass farming mod. You don't in the vanilla version. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I should mark this village because it might come in handy later, but it's also a good way for me to know. Um, that there's raspberries here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's keep going till we loop back round to our home. We know we've kind of explored this area. Kind of happy actually. Usually I've dumped stuff in boxes already. Um, and I've got to kind of go back to places to get flint and all sorts of stuff. So. Just want to make sure I mark any boars that I see. Uh, starred boars, I mean. Are they? Black Forest. Hi, sir. What is our blocking up to? Six. Need to get that to ten as soon as possible. We also need to upgrade our shield, um, but we need to upgrade our workbench for that as well. Look at that tasty core wood, friends. Oh, yeah. It's a nice building material. A favourite. Kind of chunkier. But as soon as we start making a lot of noise, we will draw draw attention. So I think that was Hugin flapping his wings because there's a burial chamber nearby. Okay, one great dwarf I'm happy to fight. Grayling's not a problem. Like a weaker version of a great dwarf. Got to be careful not to take on too many enemies. Know your strength, really. Early game, you're very weak. Blocking's not very good. You don't have really any armor to speak of. Um, do you have any? One armor. Yeah. See some mushrooms. We could very easily find the Veg Vizier for the elder just in one of like some random hut in the black forest but i gotta kind of like weigh up the the risk with the benefits and we don't have to do it immediately but it is good that we've already found black forest um i should mark it really probably find all the early like loot that we need certainly like copper and stuff could be a burial chamber hmm oh well let's do a bit more mapping out first keep well fed keep our health and stamina up do 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 sweet cord i know cord crew yo i don't know what i was trying to say there do 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 Oh, um, 
Yeah, I have a, I have about I think it's fifteen hundred hours in in uh, Conan in Valheim now, so I'm I'm familiar with most of the tricks. I mean, there's some things I might not know, and I definitely will forget stuff. This is a nice sized little house, isn't it? Dun dun dun. Do 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 do. Hi, sir. I don't know how I feel about this discovery music that they added when they added Mythlands. I don't know. I feel like it makes sense for some things, but I don't know how I feel about it for little houses. I don't know if it's like... Seems kind of strange. I don't know. Ooh, another... Okay, we might, should we just see how we do hitting it? Not very well. Let's break the little... Supports. There we go. Get our wood back. Two bees is good. What's in here? Some cash and some arrows, which we're going to need. You don't need any feathers to craft uh, wood arrows, but if you want to make better arrows than that, you're going to need feathers. So you want to loot all these um, boxes. Uh, you can always get feathers from breaking uh, trees as well, I think. You get them from, like, just harvesting, right? If I remember correctly. And then you can also use a bow to shoot birds to get feathers too. Which we'll do a lot of later. Dun, 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 dun. Hi there! Doo -doo. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we've kind of looped back around again. So we haven't looked in the centre. Um, is this... Is this our... Is this our highland? No, I guess we can go further, can't we? In this direction. As long as we're ne not next to the Black Forest, there's really nothing in the daytime that we need to be afraid of. Or, you know, unless you're completely new to the game, in which case it's possible. Hi, Hugin. What do you want, sir? Calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary, though. The Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armour and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Thank you, sir. So what we need to do is, is use... I think it's two of these deer trophies to defeat Aethir to summon him and then we have to fight him um, but I'm going to get a bunch of um, fires uh, stones for that so I can place fires at his feet it's usually a bit of a meme because I'm so rusty whenever I do it <laughs> it takes longer than if I just use fire arrows anyway let's have a sleep shall we dun, dun, dun. yeah I'm all, it's okay if you want to give advice but just uh, just assume that I might, I might know already. Um, spawn this. Wait, the spawn is on a small island. Pretty cool. It is, yeah. It is, yeah. Right there. What is the noise? Um, um. This, like, happy music, uh, this morning music, always makes me feel very nostalgic for that um, sea sinking situation because I use the music from the game for, like, for editing it. Right, now that we're here, we can use, we can put some things away. Um, I could do with upgrading my shield. I could do with making some armour. Um, I could do with upgrading benches. I didn't find myself um, uh, I didn't find a boat or anything um, so I just crafted one of these little chopping blocks to upgrade my workbench I need to do a tanning rack to upgrade it further and all I need now is some flint for that so I might just grab some more flint while I'm here um, I should put this little rug down 
seeing as this is our main little home for a moment. Just so that when we're here, we get more rested. Let's put it down there. Pushes our comfort up. The fire keeps going out. Is it raining? No. It just keeps losing... Um, what do you call it? It stops working because it keeps getting choked out by the, because by the lack of chimney. Oh, um, okay, let's get some flint. Um, we could also do with putting down some the beehives already, so we can start gathering some honey. Put down like just here. We need a bit more wood. Let's grab a bit more wood. Probably not going to upgrade this stone axe. I'm just going to go for a flint one. I need to um, get up to the Bronze Age before I can harvest birch trees. Unless I chop down other trees nearby and then use them to break the tree or a friendly quote unquote troll pops over um, and breaks them for me. Um... Remy Fells me I was reminded earlier of the ghost boat in the field of do you remember whose it was? Was it Kells? I can't wait for us to have a community server again. I'll have to like allocate one. Remains a mystery. My son just said to him he wasn't back seeing he was taking note. Oh I see, I see he's taking note. I've got you, got you. No problem. Uh, I like game you don't like the graphics, yeah. I I don't know, I never really was bothered by the graphics actually. Um I think because the lighting is so kind of magical um and enchanting. I'm just we're not distracted by the pixels, you know. Uh, I also really like Minecraft, so that's, you know, um, but I play that with shaders. So it is a bit like a Viking Minecraft with shaders, right? Some some of you might be insulted by that. Some of you might be like, yes, actually it is, because <laughs> you like both the games. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's okay to not like something because of the way it looks. It's your time, you spend it however you want to. You know, There is an HD mod, I believe, that you can use, at least one. So you can kind of upgrade it if you want. But they, they make it in higher definition and they just downgrade it, don't they? To make it easier to run, as far as I know. Whew. But it's part of the charm for me. It's just the way the game looks and I kind of like it. Hmm. When Kel used me as a human male, <laughs> did she? He. I don't know why I said she. Um, Yeah, well, so we'll have to have one for um, when Ashens comes out. Um, I'll try and do it with no mods so it can just be cross-play for the Xbox friendos as well. I think that's a nice way of doing things. Also less work for me if there's no mods on it because mods always equal a bit more work. Do do do. Do do do. So every chance one of these guys will be a one star boar. I quite like our little area that we have here. It's nice and open. Um, so I might run in the other direction and see if there's any black forest close by. I do like the black forest. I just think there's something really special about the meadows. And the game gets to be tougher and kind of creepier and scarier. And there's something very nice about retreating to the meadow and the calming music. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a raid, people. So normally, um, I don't get raided until I've defeated Aethir. So this is great because all it'll be is boars and necks. This is really cool. Um... 
I think, so someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but raids basically, every like, say, 45 minutes, I think it is, the game checks for a certain number of conditions and then it will send enemies to your base to attack you and to try to get to you. Um, and they will try and break your walls and things like that. Um, the first one, this one, which is just the pre fear raid, is very easy to fight off. Um, and as long as you've got a weapon, um, some health, you know, and maybe a shield, it's just a weak means to get, like, free food. Um, and you should never have starved enemies coming on raids. Um, but it's looking for three or more spawn-preventing items, like a campfire, a bed, uh, any benches, uh, what else people, torches, I don't know about these actually, come and attack me because I want you to bring me snacks, I don't know if I've ever heard the music before for the first level raid, is it different, have they changed the music, hi, they're calming down, it's right they are, there you go, hi bud, you have been invaded. Monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength of arms does not guarantee victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. Thank you, sir. After the first, after you defeat um, each boss, the raids change. So if you are like completely new to the game and you don't really want any trouble, <laughs> um, until you've got like um, a good defended, well defended base and you're kind of ready to like level up and stuff, you might not want to fight the next bosses. Um, that's my best advice, really. Ah, so as I was saying, the meadow is like super calm and chill. Um, so I do like to build in the meadow, but I like to be right next to Black Forest. So I don't know what we're going to do. I kind of want to go over there and see what's what. Um, so let's make sure we cook any meat we've got. Make sure we're rested and kind of continue exploring. So I'll, I might just put the neck meats. I might just put it in the on the floor. Because floor storage is best storage, everybody knows that. Only because I have a craft from containers mod and I don't want to use it. And the nice thing is if I if it's in the radius of my workbench, um, which you can check. Squirrel. Um when you place your campfire how where the radius is. Not the campfire, the crafting bench. You can check what's within the radius. Um, but anything you drop on the floor should stay there as long as the workbench doesn't get destroyed. Certainly last time I checked that was the case. Um, I don't want these trophies. Trash is a, is a mod. Uh, that's sort. That's also a mod. Quality of life stuff. Okay. Cook some meat. 11 out of 10. Highly recommend. A buffet raid. Yeah, food comes to you. Exactly. Um, we only had friends to follow. I know, I know. It's a fun little gimmick. Ache the, ache the Uber Eats, I know, that's it. So I'm going to just break this roof. Uh, because it isn't raining at the moment. And all it's doing is choking out the fire. Just spamming E. Snackages. Better bum bum. The real boss of the game is not burning the food, though. Am I right, people? Oh gosh. I'm enjoying the Diet Coke from the order, Kel. Thank you for that. E eating. Uh, raspberries give us 20 stam, 7 health. And mushrooms give us 15 of each. Okay. Mushrooms last 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Swings around about, I guess. 
I could put more fires if I wanted to. If I had the stones, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's put our other little bee friendo down. And they'll passively produce honey for us. Dun, dun, dun. Usually, I don't fight Aikthir until I'm ready to be to receive um, the Black Forest tier of raids, like Grey Dwarves and things like that. Um, and I usually like to have a, like some kind of trench before then, uh, or at least like a Stag Breaker, which is a, a decent weapon. We'll learn when we harvest some core wood. Um, But I, I don't want to do that really yet. I just kind of want to see, choose where to build first, probably. But it is a fun first fight. It's always a bit of a meme, isn't it? Da -da. Do -do. Do -do -do. How many of you are like excited about Ashlands? You're kind of waiting with bated breath. It's been such a long time coming. This this update. I was really expecting it at Christmas, to be honest. I was kind of hoping it'd be like December, like Misslands was the year before. But it's art, I guess. It takes takes whatever, as long as it takes, I suppose. Beautiful lean to, thank you. I just repaired it. That's all I did. Can't take too much credit. Just a little temporary shelter. Shall I stick with the raspberries? Maybe we'll go with mushrooms, because I get more health as well. Mind you, stamina is my biggest problem, really, but I do still want two HP food, so I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with me. Um, raspberries. Yeah, this is a balanced food, isn't it? Yeah. Let's we'll do it with rasps for now. Right, that's all the meat cooked. I guess we can put spares away. Then we put the... I'm going to leave the necktails on the ground, actually, so that I don't accidentally cook them. Right, let's go get some flint and go see if we can find a, a decent place to build. Um, let's put away these. Put away those. I'm going to keep resin on me just because... Um, oh my god. <laughs> it had a small heart attack. That is honestly my favourite mod. Which one is it called? Um, smart containers or something. What is it called? Smarter containers. There's been a few iterations of it, and sometimes it's like broken um, because someone else has to like take over uh, the mantle of keeping it up to date and stuff. But it is so good um, because you just put something in any box and it will reroute to whichever one it's supposed to be. It's so helpful. <laughs> oh, it's sleep time apparently. Must be the peachy time of day. Nice to see you, Vanfar. Hello, sweet. How you doing? Still have not done Hilda's request. I never... Yeah, I never did it, actually. Yeah. I never got round to it. A kebab cries out in pain when you eat a lone mushroom. Um, am I stuck? Here we go. Um, okay, so let's go on our adventures and see if we can find what we need. Um, can I carry around arrows and no bow? Am I? Maybe. Um, I could do with making a, a flint axe. I'm not going to be able to make a better axe until I can make a bronze axe. And I'm not at that stage yet, so I may as well make a flint axe. Yes, and then we can get rid of this terrible stone one. Go. I'm going to trash that. Settings this all trashing items in hotkey. There we go. Then we do more damage with it. Perfect. Quick snack. All right. Let's see what we find in this direction over here. Because we've been through here. We'll get some flint our way. To upgrade our whatnots, our benches and things. So we need to make a, a tanning rack, don't we? 
I see more black forest in that direction. Hmm. Do do do. Hmm. That is that is very close by actually. I want it to be really close so I don't have to traipse to back and forth too much with um copper. Okay, what have we got? Some arrows. We've got some amber, which we can sell it when we get to a trader, so we're just going to hold on to that. Could be a tiny, tiny black forest, actually. Hi, sir. Use my new axe. 19 in axes already. That's good. Bum, bum. Do, 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 do. This game is like Conan for me now, I think. It's just like um, it's like a default game. It's like a comfort thing to come back to, you know? Let's grab the flint from the ground. I could still, I could use my um, shift and E on those as well. So anything in a radius will get harvested, which is really handy. Hi, bud. I get lazy about blocking. Let all who read me be beware, me beware of the grey dwarves, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There's nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the peat into flesh, braids reeds into bone, and takes rags for skin. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you who read this see the, see one with a sword to your hand, lance it and let it out, or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. There we go. That looks like a teeny tiny black forest, honestly. But yeah, that's the creepy lore of the Grey Dwarves. They're super creepy. Murderers. Funny, but murderers. You know what I'm saying? Swings and roundabouts. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Ba -da -da -dum, ba -dum. Let's get our fleeing. But there might be some tin around the edge of a, you know, on the coastal line. So that kind of be, could be handy at least. We're in the reconnoiter phase anyway. Hi there, friends. Bum, bum. It could also be a troll <laughs> or a spawner or something something equally lethal this early in the game. I haven't changed any of the settings. Um, there are difficulty settings and things now and there's like permadeath and whatnot. I don't I want to play the game on its like standard settings. Um, right, have we leveled up at all and we've got a different axe. Can you keep away from me, friend? Ouch. Okay. Ooh, multiple enemies, bad. Ooh, that hurt. More black forest. Mm-hmm. This is the end of our intrepid explorer. Dun dun. Everybody wants to hurt us, unfortunately. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. You've got to be wary. Suddenly, there's a thud of foot, and then you know, there's a troll right next to you, and you know, bye bye, tiny Viking lady. Day one of our first playthrough ever. Or first day, first day ever. Absolutely no. I've got about fifteen hundred hours in the game. This is first day on this playthrough because we're doing a warm up for Ashlands, and I'm reminding myself all my muscle memory and how to play the game and everything. Yep. Oh, welcome. 
and it is it's very new to <laughs> very new to survival games indeed very new to survival be be gentle with me please chat yep yep i've heard something about punching trees being a thing um not sure There we go. Boom. Suddenly I feel like rolling route or something. Uh, yes. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. There's a degree of sarcasm there, I think, probably. Yeah. No, I play a lot of survival games. Oh, so very spoopy. It's kind of a good idea before you go into a new biome to do a bit of crouching. We found some copper. C for copper. If I forget what the hell C stands for, can you please remind me that it's copper? Because I remember last time I was like, C, it's not, it's not carrots. What is it? <laughs> I couldn't remember what it was. That's a good spot, actually, because it's right on the edge of the Black Forest. Although as soon as we start bashing it with a pick, which we don't have yet, um, we're going to draw a lot of people. Are they? So what do we want? We're looking for more flint. Um, we have found more black forests. I should mark it, I guess. Annotating things as you run around uh, is like super dangerous. It's probably a good idea to crouch before you make notes. It depends. Like if you're like in this area, it's not too bad. You can take a hit or two, but. As you get into like higher level areas, the further away from spawn you get, then it's a good idea to like crouch if you've got to do anything, or press escape if you're in single player, if you have to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'm as big fan of the game as you. Can. I am a big fan of the game. I love this game. C stands for coffee. Hello, Creston. How are you? Hello, Numpty. C for Carty. Oh, screw that Carty. I hate Carty. I love this game watching people experience for the first time or the hundredth. Yeah, me too. Me too. Most of my time on this game was actually streamed. I did my first playthrough, like proper playthrough, like uh, on this channel. Um, and um, I swear I met a bunch of these people who somehow haven't left yet. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm glad, but I don't know how, how they're still here, honestly. Like, excuse me? Corvid society and whatnot. But yeah, I, ha I had absolutely no idea about this game. I had played it for about nine hours off stream when it very, very first came out and then kind of like stumbled into a, um, a burial chamber in the Black Forest, died, obviously. Um, and I was like, oh, oh, uh, well, I guess I'll be back. <laughs> and then I kind of took a break um, because I'd just gotten a, a PC. I'd switched from PlayStation and... Um, so I had so many things to like play and I was playing Conan, which I love. Um, so I was just enjoying all the things. And then I played it with a friend off stream. So I was having a bit of a bad time IRL. Played it off stream and just found it super, super cozy. I just wanted to play this game really. So I did like a full playthrough, yeeting, dying a lot um, uh, on stream, which is just so much fun. It was a great adventure. And then played it again immediately afterwards and did permadeath and then completed it without dying. Which is great fun as well. And very proud kind of moment. So it's kind of special really for me. Is that copper? Nope. I don't see any shiny bits. And the first day is my absolute favourite part of this game. It's like exploring and trying to find somewhere to live and not getting murdered. It's good. If you're not dying, you're not trying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Living it already, yeah. It's good times. But I'm super rusty because I play a bunch of survival games. Like when I don't play this for a while or like anything else, I'm like, wait, which which button? I have to like get my muscle memory back. Um and I'll probably do a bunch of guides when Ashens comes out and I need to kind of like remind myself how to play really. 
So I'm not going to do permadeath. I'm just going to try and like get through the content. I really want to play through the whole game. Um, quite often I'll spend a bunch of time building something and I get sidetracked by things and I don't really finish it and stuff. So I, I just want to play through the whole thing. Um, that's my current plan. But we do have Scorched Earth coming out soon. And then Conan Chapter 4 is coming out on the 2nd. So next week. So what, Monday Scorched Earth? If it comes out. Is that still a planned date? Does anyone know any different? And then Tuesday, is it? Um, chapter 4, I think, without looking at my diary. If you hear a sudden thud, probably a good idea to walk away. Because it could easily be a troll. And I've got a lot of the alerts turned off. <laughs> Usually there would have been like some thudding or dinosaur sounds by now. Is there a bee in here? No bee, no no box? Oh, there's a box, okay. Um, we do a bit of a stealth takedown of this wall. Because I can't access the, the door. Try not to draw attention to myself. Okay, handy. We needed some flint. Uh, yes, flint, not tin. I'll get my bench back. Sweet. So I always want a black forest that's on the coast. Um, and next to meadow. Because I want to build in the meadow next to a black forest. I'm not rested anymore. Um, dun, 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 dun. Ooh, that's a bad, bad, bad news bears. The guy's going to hiss poison at me. Which I don't want, really. Now, I could get rested in this house if I can lose his attention. And put down a little campfire. Away you go, sir. The music is so beautiful, isn't it? Sit. Listen, we don't throw stones, do we? Right, let's use this. Put down the fire. Get a bit of crouching going on. Work on our squats in this incredibly well-maintained house. Um, do I have deer hide? I don't for my rug. Um, but I got three comforts because I got shelter, so that'll do. Um, I don't know if it's... You can sleep quite early. If you have enough wood to place a bed and whatnot. So we try and sleep. Yeah. Worth trying whenever you get shelter. And it's Ashen update. Finally, no more <laughs> no more bugs. I know. I hate the bugs so much. Um I really try hard at this game then. Yeah, I try hard. If you don't die, if, honestly, I don't die. Because um, if you die, you lose your skill points, and I find that awful. So. Can I? I'm not the smartest person here, am I? Can I just replace you? Actually, let's put you here for a minute. Just to access it and repair stuff. And break it. The, the the toughest challenge I've tried in this game is never mind um, permadeath, but no portals was the hardest thing I've done in this game. That was really like challenging the way that I play the game, and it was a big like yeah adventure. It was it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it, but oh my, it was tough. Uh, all right, so I'm going to mark this as like a shelter. There we go. Just a little house to mark. So we know that we've got a shelter here if we need it. Da -da. Do, 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 do. Um, so we know this black forest there. I mean, honestly, this is a decent place to live, isn't it? You know what we haven't done is mark our home. <laughs> Which I assume is like here. 
Do 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 There's black forest to either side of us. The thing is, the further we have to go, the more likely I have to use a cart for longer. And I despise the cart. I know I've never mentioned it before. I know, I know, it's a big shock. I don't like carts. It's right. Yeah, screw those carts. But yeah, I hate them so much. And I find them obnoxious and annoying. <laughs> so the further away from, like, the black forest I am, the more I have to drag stuff around. And then I have to, like, nearly swear, you know. I love that we marked everywhere but our house with our, like, gear. Just kind of smart and really in keeping with how I play this game. Um, hello, Maximus. Hello, hello. Have you made a bed? We've got beds in all sorts of places. We've we've slept in loads of places, really. We're like little nomads right now. But I have left some stuff um, in one particular house. Ooh. Coast, check. Meadows, check. Black forest, check. The problem is, is this steep hill. Although we will be taking things down the hill, but I don't really want to build on that. I could build down there, but then I would need like a bridge to take materials across. Does it pass the vibe check is the question, I guess. Maybe the other side of here? Do, 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 do. That could easily have a veg vizier outside. Do we have a quick sneaky peek? Oh, look. Some enemy friendos. So many of them. Oh, it's tempting to look, isn't it? Sees a troll, gets scared, and installs computer. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, Anna. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, we have been spotted, I repeat. We've been spotted. Don't be alarmed. Nothing to worry about. No, 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 shh, keep it down. Keep it down! Stop the violence! Stop it! Stop it! Shh! Quiet! Terrible stealth. We're all fired. It's appalling. Burden. It's a decent bit of black forest there, isn't it? Rich with resources. Probably a bunch of burial chambers, which we need. Having some frame drops, because the world is first generated. Alright! Alright! Yeah, that's a great black forest. Runs into a troll. Oh, I'm really like dropping frames. Oh, people. Oh, they're so keen to make friends with me, aren't they? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's mighty steep. Let's get to the coast and see what the situation is. Da -da. I spilled coffee on my desk this week and uh, I do have another mat that I can use to like switch out the one that was currently on my desk. It's dry and everything and I wiped it. It was only black coffee. Was it black coffee? But it, it smells like coffee in here now and it's not a very like pleasant smell. <laughs> it's giving me like a bit of a headache. Fun fact. There you go. Um, oh, this is huge. Okay, let's not eat too much because this is not Conan. And we will hurt ourselves from full damage. Let's just check out the situation. I'm excited by a large black forest, honestly. No stars. I should kill every single boar at this stage of the game, honestly. But sometimes they get lazy. Oh, there we go. There's the edge. 
Oh, and we've got a village. Oh, is there a one-star boar? You look like a one- Yes! <gasps> oh. That is basically in the Black Forest, though. Do, do, do. Hmm. Interessante. Hmm. Hi, friend. Oh, this is the homeowners association coming to check that we're suitable we weren't so i killed them it's fine so everybody does that it's totally normal nothing to be alarmed about they said something about not liking gnomes in the garden it's just like what oh there's a little village sign come here thank you there's a spawner over there Hmm, what do we think? If there was a maple here, I would be very excited. You know what I'm saying? Dun, dun, dun. Do you think they'll bring out Ashens in the May update? Mayhaps. Sorry for the mayhaps. That's an unintentional pun. I'll go to the corner. It's fine. We got some tin on our doorstep. Tin there. Tin there, tin there. Or Tien, as the Vikings say. Tien. Lots of people don't realise there's a dip thong there. What am I saying? For a sea monster, I never got far in the game, Natalie. They're so scary. Yes. Um, a redeem. Somebody did. Oh, you did the redeem, Calendros. Okay, write it in a sentence and I'll use it. Damn it. I must have enough points to redeem that sentence a hundred times. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting me know there was a redeem. Yeah. This is a really good spot, isn't it? So, shall we... Um, shall we set up over there and have like a little bridge to drag materials home? Because I want the cosy music of the meadows. Or we could live here. We have to break all these trees down. Um, Alright, now that we know this is here, let's have a quick... We just kill any enemies. That is like a great black forest, isn't it? Wait. That is awesome. Um, let's see what's on the other side. We'll get a bit of a get a bit of a decision making going. Where was the nearest boar? There was a boar here as well, wasn't there? And one star. So it's kind of good. Do 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 do. Bum bum ba dum. Um. I seem to have stopped. You stopped accumulating points from what? Like embers? Is that what you mean? Da -da. How is that possible? What did you do? Did you try to hack the system? Build a Viking Venice in the water. Don't need a moat then. Yeah, that's true. I did try to build a bit of an archipelago, didn't I? On a previous playthrough. On one of the permarans. Interesting, interesting. If this was Black Forest, we'd have loads of tin along here, wouldn't we? Do I hear a bee? Nope. No bee. But there's a box. Okay. Have a bit of a reconnoiter. If there's a one-star boar over there, then that maybe we'll build up there. But look, look at all that tasty core wood for our buildings. Dun, dun. Doo, doo, doo. I know I can press Z, X, and C, but I still like press tab because I just I don't know. Hi, friend. 
I mean, it's got a bit of elevation. Kind of want to see what's around here. Where the grass grows underfoot and the sky is blue overhead, there will always be a hearth and a home. Dun, da, da, da. I don't really like it when it's all hilly like this. You know, it's like big hills and like little rivers. It's not my favourite, like, uh, what's the word? Situation. Um, generation, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Dun. It's very hard to run up without using all your stams. Especially because we're not rested right now. Hmm. Okay, we need to get rested. Let's get that sorted first. That bird literally flew into the earth. It's hacking. Is there any shelter nearby? Do do. Question mark. Okay. I'm burning. <laughs> Listen, I'm a fire safety officer. Never do that. That was just a demonstration of what not to do. Don't be alarmed. Do I, I don't have enough shelter here. I guess they don't count that stone. No? There we go. See? Genius. Perfect every time. The sentence is the sentence. <laughs> is. Oh, God. Do y'all know my bestest friend in Valhara's <laughs> Cardi? I love him so much. <laughs> Screw you, Calendros. <laughs> Screw you to hell. <laughs> I'm taking those points. Let me get those points off you immediately. Hold on. Thank you for redeeming 100,000 channel points for that. Screw you. Thank you. Yes, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> um, I don't think I did the hydrate from Kevin all that time ago. There we go. There you go. Take those points. Take those points. <laughs> uh, let's mark this as shelter. When the sentence becomes the, 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 rede the important thing, part of the redeem. Kill is on fire, I know. Current rates of point uh, accumulation and I only need to stream for another what 2,125 years and then I can redeem sync mode. I love it. Hit it once and then she immediately changed the price to a billion, yeah. Yep, that's it. There is a there is a video for anybody who's new here. There's a video of my previous like redeem. Uh sing redeem. Yeah. What are we what are we aiming for here? Do I have deer hide? Can I? I don't have enough. I need four deer hides to make a rug. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I I kind of feel like. What do you think about this location, friendos? Mm -hmm. It's not a looker, is it? Initially. We we do have the meadows music. Let's kill this member of the homeowner association. See what he he says. I mean, we are creating a lot of work for ourselves, aren't we? Um, we would have to drag. Yeah, we'd have to drag metal up a hill. So that's a no for me. Um, unless we build in the black forest. Um, 
Hmm. Color me indecisive. It's an outhouse with a view. Yeah, it's a fixer upper. Hello, Damiana. How are you doing? Good to see you. What would you like to see Anna stream Valheim? Ah, oh, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for lurking. Um, we may have burnt out on Valheim. Was considering skipping Ashens and wait for voice. Now you're making me reconsider. Ah, oh, I'm honoured. I the important thing for me about this game is that I just take breaks from it, you know, and then I can. Oh, look at me wasting all my stamina. Here's what not to do. There we go. If she dies. She's fine. It's a little bit of drowning, just a touch. Just kind of puts hairs on your chest, people. What do you mean? Da -da -da -da. Okay, we need to make decisions about bases now. Do do. Um, but I'm kind of very scared about the deep north coming out. If we can talk about the very the next biome after Ashlands, see this is lovely, isn't it? But the music, I guess the music continues because this is going to be in the meadow. Then we're in discovery music. So. What about we build over here? Seems like a really bad idea. But it's kind of cute. But it'll be convenient. So shall we see where the copper is? Because that's really what we need. We know there's a bit of tin here. Um, on the coast. Probably all around these like islandy bits. Um, rested for six minutes. Seems like it's nearly night time. Okay, I thought... I keep thinking I see a veg vizier, but it's the end of a log. <laughs> Talk about wishful thinking. Okay, they both have swords, and so no one can shoot me. Okay, copper right here. That's really good. Okay. Done, I think. Hi. Okay, ready? Okay. <coughs> I see carrot seeds. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, Anna. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, yeah. All right. On the edge of a black forest it is, then. Dun, 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 dun. Well, while we're at it, I guess we can make a, um, we can set up in one of these houses. This is the tallest house by the look of it. Um, I don't have any stones, apparently. Didn't know that. Oh, hello, there's a one-star ball. Yeah. So I should trap him in a house. Because that's what you do when you make friends with people. Obviously. Sorry to state the obvious. Um, I need to lose his attention. Which is kind of easy, actually. Right. I'm going to lose your attention so you run back home. So, when I want you to follow me, it's a nightmare. Now that I'm trying to lose your attention. You're staying on my behind. There we go. Lost. Beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. We could sleep in the outhouse tonight, maybe. So let's get some stones. The only thing is that boar is going to be a bit of a pain if we want to sleep in those little houses. But it is. we couldn't be more perfect, could we? It's right by a black forest. Um, there's a one-star boar there for a beginning of our farm. There's another boar nearby. Right, I've got enough stones to make a campfire. Um, let's make it day if we can. So maybe we make a little shelter. Um, we have a little 
little house over here. That's just... I don't want to sleep, uh, swim again, though. That's the only thing. Dun, dun, dun. Now that it's night, there are going to be night spawns of grey dwarves. Which is suboptimal when you're trying to get stuff done. Um... And of course, as the genius that I am, I didn't mark stuff on the map. Hi, Grayling. Dun, dun, dun. So where is it? Is it? It's not there, is it? Is it over this way? Oh, gosh. I have the best direction in the world. Everybody knows that. Okay, I'm going to swim, I guess. Uh, there's our shelter but what do we do let's just try and find the village the lack of music is always very like unnerving isn't it here friendo 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 friendos nice grey dwarves uh, it's not that way because we didn't go that way so it's this way okay let's just go this way it's going to be fine peeps suddenly it's dark and I see nothing <laughs> hello hop how are you doing that forest makes me want cake oh yes definitely I was having a conversation with my parents about how good German cake was the other day. German cake is like the best cake. If you haven't had German cake, you haven't experienced cake. I honestly, I, I die on that hill. It's so good. This is an easy way to know time. Look at the sun and direction you face on the bottom of the moment. It denotes the time each morning and rest is evening and stuff. Yeah, I do have a clock as well. It's I know it's night time. I'm not worried about the time. I'm just worried about it being dark and trying to find the little village that I had. It's not, it's not the time, it's the darkness that's the issue. It's, a, it's my bearings I've lost. Ah, is this it? This is it. Yes, perfect. Somebody sees me and I get into a house. Shh, keep it down, people. See a great one. Just gonna get in the house. Wait, I'm on the wrong side. There's a brute, a bandit ship, a bat. Shh, keep it down. A bandit ship. There's the there's the one star. There's the one star boar. Crouch, you silly woman. Stupid grey dwarf, brute people. Okay, let's get let's get rested. We'll do it quietly. Everybody, be quiet. Do it on the edge here. Okay. Does anyone see us? No. Let's sit down. We'll get rested because then we'll be... Shh! Keep it down! <laughs> keep it down! <laughs> then when we're running away, we have more stamina. Do you know what I'm saying? Mark it. That's true. You're talking about Black Forest Cake, which is German, and we're in the Black Forest. Somebody mentioned Black Forest Cake, and I started talking about... German cake, basically, because the Black Forest is obviously in Germany. Slash, is it in both Germany and Switzerland? <sighs> um, hello, Scotland. Hello, hello, people joining us. Good to see you. Is does your lady really want hairs on her chest? I didn't. I don't think she cares really. She's in like she's on her way to Valhalla, isn't she? She didn't care about hairs on her chest. Thank you for the stretch, Redeem. Oh, right. We're now rested. Shall I mark this fire? Okay. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 
What we should just do is just go and sleep in that freaking hovel. Um, just because there's a brute over here. Dun 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 we do have some stuff in a box aged like somewhere which we haven't got marked on the map which always happens to me <laughs> always put stuff down um i don't think we can fight the brute i i don't want to risk it um i could do it if i just rolled and didn't kind of parry him um We're in a dense amount of trees. What we probably... We should just freaking... You know what we should do? Let's just knock down some trees. You know? There it is. Okay. Let me just get rid of that. Maybe we could go in this house. The one that's like definitely going to be damp because it's so low. Like, <laughs> it's like below sea level. Someone sees me. There's the boar. What we should do is trap the boar, really. What have we got in here? Now we're, we're out of stones again. Flint is useful. Not what we're after right now. Okay. It's a fixer-upper, stop judging. It's going to be beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, sleepy times. Crikey. <clears throat> I'm not saying that word, Kristen. Uh, climb the skelly, keep as long as no troll, you're okay. Oh, look, we spawned outside. Oh, the brute. Hi there, Sam. Listen, you are going to murderfy me, and I I just don't have, like, block confidence right now. I'm kind of insecure about it. I wish you wouldn't draw attention to it. This is where a bow would come in handy. So what would be kind of cool is if we could find... Um, because it's a bunch of like coasts around there. It'd be kind of cool if we could find a boat. I don't know where this dude is. Can I put stuff in a box and leave it here? If I get trapped in here with that brute outside, oh god, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm out! <laughs> I'm out! I'm out! Okay. I should mark it as home, shouldn't I? If you could stand in the fire, I'd be alright with that, bud. It's only a grey link. It's, you think you're in a vi in a meadow. You're actually in a freaking black forest, friend. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to mark this as home. Okay. Sweet. Done. Let's see if we can find a boat. Well, we're like oot the boot. There's a bunch of uh, tin around here, which is great. I don't really want to swim unless I know it's safe on the other side. So off I go. Loads of tin. Look at that. That's good. Nice. Do, do, do. We have a quick snack because they make me happy. Do, do, do. Ta -da. We are rested just about for now. Loads of tin. Look at this tasty, tasty tin. Let's see a grey dwarf. Right, we're going to look out for boats. I guess rivers are really like the best place to look. Hey, friend. I should I should level up my shield and my axe as well. Even though I've picked up some flint, I should really be doing that. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, reeds mean shallow water. Could easily be a veg vizier in that place over there. I don't. I think. Did we check it? I don't remember. Graylings are for graylings are for punching, definitely. There could easily be like a boat in all that like shallow water over there. It's like a good place to check. Coast is dangerous because we can get trapped. We get seen by a troll. First thistles. Dun, 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 dun. There's no guarantee you're going to find a boat unless you really, really explore for a long time. Um, but it is such a nice way to skip. There's a two-star grey dwarf who's going to kick my butt. Um, so if I, I don't want to swim that way because that's too far. You try and go behind them on exploration. Shaman like really freak me out as well because they'll cover us in poison. That is a good place to look for a boat as well, that little rivery thing. Can look out for trolls. Okay, I see copper. It's good. I don't see a boat. We can fight one grey dwarf. No problem. Is copper. Okay. Do, do. So I want to run along the coast now. Let's get our first bloops. Quite often I find trolls on the coast, so it is quite dangerous doing this, but hey ho. Plenty of mushrooms. Dun dun. But I want a boat. More copper. Get away from the shaman. Chat, do you say shaman or shaman? What you, which, which school are you in? Actually, I don't go to school anymore. Shut up, chat. Is that be pedantic? Shame, shaman. Short, shaman. Uh oh, two star friendo. Skellingtons. Don't get trapped. Very dangerous. I like the music in the Black Forest. The Black Forest is like an amazing biome and everything, but it just, I just like the meadows. The meadows is just like chill, you know? I mean, technically I could just play different music or whatever. When we did the No Portals challenge, 
I ended up just playing music constantly because I was away from home so much. I've only rested for another minute. Stop throwing stones at me, you bastard. Da -da -da. Dun. Soon we'll be in the meadow, I guess. We can have a breather. Bit of meadow. Can get rested again. Maybe find a shelter. Aha, there's one. I have like Draugr village PTSD every time I see a village. I know we're not. Like if I went on a boat ride somewhere and I saw that I saw even a house, I'm like, oh, it's a Draugr village, but it's not. But it's just, yeah, PTSD. Listen, two star people, get the fudge away from me. You don't live here. That's not, not your territory. Ooh. Squirrel. This is a lot nicer, isn't it? Oh, look at this. This is right up my street. Is there a star friendo here? <gasps> there is a star friendo. Oh, I like it here. Chat. And look, Black Forest right next to it. Okay. This is this passes the vibe check, if I may sound a bit wanky. Listen, you turd wallets. I'm vibing out here. I'm like excited. And you're trying to murder me. It's really spoiling my mood. Oh, there's even a bee. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like this neighborhood. Don't mind the gangsters chasing us. Oh, the necks are here. The friendly little toads. Oh, I love it. I do. <laughs> That's so nice. Shoemen. You prefer shoe. You say shoemen. Lovely. Where does the word shaman come from? I don't know. It's shaz Shazam. <laughs> Charm. Charm. I should never ask questions of chat, honestly. Why do I do it? Listen, Smurf. Get away from me. There's also there's also another village over there. Oh, it's worth shopping around, people, when you're trying to buy a house, honestly. Apparently. Another another star pool. People, would you piss off? Oh my god. Don't swear. Never. I swear. Listen, stop bullying me because I don't know the swear words, okay? It's really, it's quite rude and it makes me sad. Stop it. That's right. I brought the fire. That's right. You chased me away from my perfect home. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're afraid of me now, aren't you? Come to my neighbourhood. Yeah, you chase me over here, gang gangster friendo. Get back here. Come on now. Right, if you could all pass away, thank you. I think the other one has like despawned or something. Okay. All right. Okay, so that looks kind of amazing. Okay. I just want to double check this one isn't better. And then I think we've chosen our forever home, even though we've left stuff. Because there's a ball here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Starborn. And there was a Starborn like at the other place, wasn't there? I think the Smurf is off on his jaunt. Okay, watch out for creepers because it's raining, obviously. Draugr village, oh my god. 
can't get them this close to spawn. You can't get it in like, unless you have like a huge home island, you can run for ages. But I still, I still get scared, people. I have like, yeah, such a creepy feeling. You go, oh, a village. This is a nice big house. I think I like the other side better though. We could use this for something though, I guess. Okay. Decided. Get away from me. Forever home allocated, located, acquired, chosen. Hello, Le Trap! Oh, this is, uh, this is, um, cyberpunk. That's what this game is. You've never, never seen it. But posture check! Oh my god. Called out. Yeah. It's not a game you've ever seen or heard of before. It's like cyberpunk, um, but it's like a Viking mod. Yeah, definitely. Bring this last few days too heavy, drag you. Yeah, I'm warming up for Ashens. Are you? What are you? Are you gonna play it, Trap? When Ashens comes out, are you like interested to play it, or are you like screw that game, <laughs> I'm done with it? What are you? What are you thinking? Eventually, ah, uh, yeah. I feel like it's imminent because they started talking about how to play on the PTB recently on their Discord. One of the friendos like pointed out. So it feels kind of imminent and I feel embarrassingly rusty. Um, you know. Considering how much I've played this game. Which just happens because I play too many games. Ooh. Come on, you fudge. Okay. Look, what do you think about this house, <laughs> Would you say it's a fixer-upper? It's not the best we found, is it? Um, yeah, I like this village. This is a great place to start off our adventures, I think. And it's right by Black Forest. So now we have like three different places with boxes so we have to retrieve, even though I was like congratulating myself. Hi, friend. Homeowners Association. He wanted to borrow a cup of sugar and no, I just didn't have any. So this house looks reasonable. We can get some shelter in there. Is that the one star friendo? Where was the one star friendo? On the other side. Right, let's get some shelter, shall we? Because we're our Viking hair is getting soggy. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we're going to need to make a shelter for the fire. Let's get a couple of stones first. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I don't have any, even have any wood. Because we dumped all our stuff at that other place. Um, let's get a bit of tree. Too close to water? Nah, I like to be really close to the water. Yeah, you need it for um, boating because you got to bring everything back and forth. I want to be right on the edge of the water. Not too close at floods. Nah, this is great. This isn't Grey Dwarf. I've got to, I've got to respect him, actually. Right, it's just you and me now, little tiddler. Oh, I see, you meant that little tiny house. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not going to live in that one. Because you're right, the water will brush in. But yeah, I always want like a coastal place. Right next, in the meadow, right next to Black Forest. Make sure there's some copper and tin nearby. Um, and then job is a good one, as they say. Um, that's where the build camera mod comes in handy. Cheated's always lets you build way out over the water for interesting builds. Does it help with that, does it? Interesting. It is kind of fun trying to build, trying to like build up, isn't it? Bum, ba, dum, bum. Empty the shelter. OK, 
Okay. Uh, I've got the fire. I need my bed. He says one has a decent height, like roof and stuff. Uh, I'll put the bed here. And then the crafting table will go to the left. Dry off by the fire. We can repair everything while we're waiting to dry. Maybe close the door. We weren't born in a barn, obviously. This one comes with its own skylight. I find it very satisfying repairing stuff, don't you? Probably closing off the skylight might help with the floor situation. Oh, I broke it. Okay. Quick sleep. There we go. Maybe it'll have finished. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it'll uh, finish raining while we sleep. The land, the land cake. That's it. She made it so flat. Yeah, that's it. I haven't heard that word for a while. I try not to use that when playing, just for really hard to reach spots when you can't build a scaffolding. Mm. Yeah. What I should do more of is just, like, um, do more build streams on it and stuff and just kind of experiment with building, um, I think. Oh, I can't even break my... Ta -da. I'm going to need to make another thingamajobby, aren't I? Bugger. I need stone for that. But, um, I should harvest these raspberries and then they'll regrow quicker. Oh, I love this. This is perfect. This fits all the, like, criteria. Um, the other place I was like, okay, sure. We can settle for here, but, you know. It wasn't, like, it didn't, like, super excite me. Ah, these things quite often have a few stones next to them, don't they? Yep, in a little circle. This is what I... Yeah, look at it. Beautiful. Very cosy indeed. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Crafting station. Right, what am I doing with myself here? Um, I need one more bit of wood for crafting station. Okay. That solo little bit of fence can go. We can place the bench inside. Repair the things. Uh, let's put it here. There we go. Right. Um, so what I'd normally do now is just go get all the stuff we've left in various places. I We're not finding, if we find anywhere else now to live in, we're not moving there. This is it now. Um, so shall we indulge in some floor storage? How do you feel about that, people? Just go as minimalists. Got enough snacks. But do I have any deer here? No. Okay. All right. Now we retrieve our things. Now we found our forever home. So get rid of that. Where is the other one? All the way through the black forest. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go get our stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, because look at that. That is idyllic. I love it. Right up my street. Definitely didn't take a screenshot. Stop touching. 
What we haven't done is checked where the nearest copper is, but I bet there's some like right behind us. Burnham. Could easily be a, a troll as well. Da -da. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's stay focused. Either way, whatever happens, I'm going to live in that lovely little place. Get our stems back. So this is going to be dangerous running through a black forest. Mm. Creepy, creepy. Creepy forest. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Hi. You don't see me. I'm entirely invisible to skeletons. Fun fact. Hello, bloobs. I shall leave you there for the moment. This is a very specific mission. Just to retrieve my bits and bobs. Probably nothing too exciting either. Bit of, fl bit of flint or something. We haven't seen a troll yet. And I'm like, let me touch wood because I don't really want to see any trolls yet Ooh. what is that some wood on the ground yoink troll cave we ran past earlier so there's probably a troll inside it because a troll didn't spawn outside but I'll take his skeletal remains that he from, like, whoever he killed outside. Plenty of tin here. There's always, like, a balance between what is the most comfortable place to live and what is going to be the most convenient because of, like resources that spawner is a bad thing to run past really but i'm always going to choose like the cozy place over convenience i think just because the game like it becomes more and more like a horror game than like the more you play it doesn't it like as you get when you get to misslands which is beautiful and gorgeously crafted but horrific and nightmarish if you hate bugs like i do so I do like, I just want somewhere as cosy as possible to retreat to at the end of the day. I want to make a sanctuary. Okay. Keep seeing one star balls. Every time we see somewhere that's kind of cool, we've seen a one star ball. Right. Take all. How do I take all? Squirrel. Okay, let's deal with this person. Hi. Oh, you're a grayling. Why was I even scared of you? Cuh. What an idiot. Um. Okay. Where's the other place that we had stuff from? So let's rename this village. I guess it was all the way that way, wasn't it? We may as well try and get our things back. Do, do, do. I don't know, is it worth it? Or should we just go? Yeah, it's not far, is it? Come on then, adventure and whatnot. Besides, it's a safer journey this way. Da -dun -dun -dun. This always happens to me. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to like leave stuff in houses because then I have to go back for it. And I end up doing it anyway. I try not to pick anything else up apart from mushrooms and raspberries, I guess. One came. Button on chest. Was it button on chest? Was it? Button on chest, top window. Okay. In the heat of the moment, I was like, I just couldn't remember what it was. Let's make sure we're snacked. Got five minutes arrested. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. 
So is it success if I don't see a troll? We do need boar meat though, and scraps. So I will modify these friendos. No horses. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Sort mod has has it was weird. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so many options. Mm -hmm. Sit. Da -da -da. Thing in there. Just a quick check. Yeah, I mean, Black Forest backing onto this is lovely, but I, I just really want it to be right on the coast because as soon as you start bringing, you know, iron and things back, um, it just needs to be, like, right in the exact, like, spot. Okay. We'll fight you. There we go. Screw you. Okay, I've got to work out which is my house now. I don't think it was right next to that. I think it was this way. So we slept somewhere and then I forgot to mark it as home. Or at least mark it as a place where I'd left my stuff. Oh. Surprisingly. Do do. Yeah. I don't think it was all the way over there. It could have been there. I don't know, peeps. I've lost my things. Please press press R when running. Why why please? I do it sometimes. I like to mark the oaks too for later. Do you? I mean I don't struggle to find them really. Um, I go through phases though. Sometimes I mark the um, like everything, like mushrooms and raspberries. I love that there's a little like enclosure around that tree. Um, ooh, a bee! All right, sir. Can I get you without? I'm just gonna. I don't have enough wood. Bum. Bum. I never really did this before. I'm just kind of seeing how I get how we get on really. It's taking support from up there, that's the only thing. We're better off getting the wood for a crafting bench. Okay, here we go. But then I need to make a hammer. So I need a bit more wood. I swear she's doing it on purpose. I mean, just sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. You just have to, like, you know, be chill and, like, let things happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, let it loose, friendo. But if I know it bothers you, now you've given me something, a tool. <laughs> a tool of turd wallet tree. <laughs> Um, I, I need to get rested. Do I have any stones? Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Let's get rested in this gorgeous house. Do, do, do. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, 
um, posterior butts. Oh. <laughs> Try to mod that mo marked auto, but we're starting to get overrun with stuff. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. I think I, I tend to like flip flop. So, like, the f one time I'll do a playthrough and I won't mark anything. And then the next one I'm like, I must mark all the things. And then I kind of, the next time I go, oh, I don't want to mark anything. And I just kind of, it just kind of goes back and forth. Right. We're, we're, we're rested. I don't know where my stuff is, honestly. Kind of. I would assume it's around this area, near Aikthir. I think it's probably right by Aikthir, actually, if I remember now. What a cute little tree. Yeah, that, I found that cute because at one point we used a, an oak tree um, and I put, like, fences around it and I used that as cover for my boars uh, initially. I can't remember which playthrough that was. I don't know if I still have it. I don't think it was the last one. There's one where I built on stream. I might actually plan my builds in future. Maybe not this one, because I don't want to spend too much time building. The famous last words. There you go, there's our house. Um, but I might start kind of planning them out a bit more, because the last one was, like, okay. But it didn't look very Viking-ish. It looked like some weird boat kind of building contraption. It was really weird. Dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we had to get our bees as well. Imagine if we'd left the bees. Poor bee friendos. Should have looted them first, really. Have a quick sleep. Find it again in a few streams time. And a bit devious, yes. On purpose, that's it, yeah. Find the spear useful until fine wood bow. Do you? I don't like the spear because I, I don't like losing it all the time and I find that annoying. Um, okay, repair. And then we want to take this bench. Or upgrade or whatever for the flint. Um, take all is there. Okay. It is weird, isn't it? Um, can I leave stones? Okay, and now I, can, I have everything except the shelter. I love that. Beautiful. Um. Hello there. I'm just going to leave it as that. So we've got everything we need. As long as we got the bees. Aethir's got something to say. Uh, sorry. Hugin's got something to say. What do you want, bud? You need to lighten your load. <laughs> if you carry too much luggage, you'll become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Thank you, sir. I worked that out for myself somehow. All right. Now the long run back to actual home. So nod to actual day there. Hello, adaptive hello. Abandon could be its tag. <laughs> yeah, abandoned home. And then actual home. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, not too far. Maybe we could just run like this. Squirrel. No, straight lined as the crow flies. We'll see. Abode, abode abandonment, yes. There's always a lot of little, like, abodes abandoned. I think, I probably didn't used to make so many shelters until I did the No Portals Challenge, and then I was like, suddenly everywhere had to be home. I got used to being a little nomad. Da -da -da. Do -do -do. Hello, Grayling. Do, do, do. All right, Black Forest. I guarantee we're going to see a troll just running through all this 
there's a burial chamber, which I should probably mark, but I'm just going to give these guys a wide berth. Hello, one star grey dwarf. Let's conserve our stamina. Da -da. Da -da -da. I've got to remember not to speak to Hugin outside burial chambers. Great. Just so that he continues to warn me whenever there's one nearby. The problem with that is every time there's one nearby, I think there's a troll because I hear him. the wing flap sounds so much like a freaking troll's stamping feet. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Hey there, friendos. We're going to be back in here a lot because of the burial chambers. Dun, dun, dun. It's a lot of black forest. Ooh, you freaking jump scared me, sir. Oh my god. All right, we're doing okay. Just say some like words of enchantment to keep us away from trolls. But ideally, you want to see them before they see you. It's with any enemy. Okay. Thistles are good. Don't, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Keep going, little lady. Da, da, da. Do, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. We're nearly there. Most accidents happen right by the home, apparently. Same as in Valheim. Okay. Jump scared by cat purring is a new one on me. <laughs> okay, there's a spawner. Thank you for that. Troll caves. Or chambers. I make the mistake the burial chambers or troll caves occasionally. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go down this way. Let's get the mushies. Almost at paradise. Dun, dun, dun. Am I making a grave mistake here? Squirrel. Uh oh. Bugger. How do I mark stuff? How do I ping things for myself? Chat. I was making a mistake. Oh, there's a troll! Is he a stick, friendo? Oh, so very spoopy. Hi, you big nose twerp. I'm gonna kill you later. Chat, I don't know how to get where I'm going. I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling. Okay, we have to go this way a bit. Because, uh, unfortunately. Oh, I hear him. Growly friend. Dun, dun, dun. Just like go a bit oop north. Ooh, snacks. The Viking risked life and limb for the snacks. She knew she could not live without. Would she die? She did not know. But snacks would definitely aid in both of those things. Okay, we've got some copper here. Okay. Oh, I can't carry my thistles, but what about my snackies? Okay. I can't take the mushrooms. <gasps> this is an outrage. How will I have an omelette? Dun, dun, dun. Is it really sad that I wait all week to have my, like, amazing omelette? <laughs> like, that's the thing I look forward to every week. I'm like, ooh, Sunday omelette. Can I not carry you? Nope. 
Listen, drop the wood, take the take the snacks. Definitely. Da -dum -dum. Do -do -do. Yeah. Get a bit inland. It was all working out way too well, wasn't it? It all seemed so simple. Then she realised she was not a fish. And she could not just swim get to get back home. Oh, troll friend home. Dun, da, da, da. If I wasn't rested, this would be even more scary. Don't want to get shot by an arrow. A stray arrow of a skeleton. So how do I... Is it over there? Fudging fudgesicles. She made a rookie mistake. But she found more carrot seeds. <laughs> yeah. What a genius running in the entire wrong direction. I was like, oh cool, I can just run as the crow flies. Oh, I hear you. I'm unafraid. Hopefully, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Over yonder. Ominous omelet. <laughs> it's the best omelet ever. Oh god. Leave the wood. Take the cannoli. <laughs> the, take the bloops and the mushrooms. We live in a forest. It's abundant. Yeah. We're on the way, people. Bum ba dum. Hello, Kit. How are you doing? How goes it? Ooh, I see you. You're trying to hit me. I'm not afraid of you. As long as I manage my stamina. And no one else tries to hurt me. Doo -doo. The, the shaman people. And the smurf people. Are my real concerns. And the trolls who are the big smurfs, I guess. Are my real concerns. And a spawner with a bunch of people too. Just most people, really. Okay, loads of tin here. If I may be so daring. But we have found ourselves a really nice place to live. And that is like the key to a playthrough for me. Find somewhere super cosy you want to like build and invest in. And have a nice animal farm. Did I make that sound weird? Ball farm? That sounds better. Right, we'll go with that. Look at this idyllic place. There's like black forest on the other side as well. Hopefully this is not like landlocked because in the past I've been like, oh, wonderful. Um, we've got this lovely, you know, little like kind of pond lagoon situation. Um, <laughs> there's just like no way out of it. And like, this is not the sea. This is just a just a little pond situation, you know. But yeah, we've got a one-star ball somewhere. One of those people. Squirrel? That guy. Yeah. One-star ball, so we can make a farm. Uh, plenty of rasps growing nearby. A lovely, like, idyllic place. Lots of black forest nearby. So we've got loads of resources. Cute little village, which always adds a bit of character. Let's reset our spawn. Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to leave it here for today. It's been a nice start. Thank you everybody so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for all the support on the stream. Um, Kel, thank you for sending me food. Appreciate that. I'm going to go and have that for my dinner now, which is very exciting. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I might do more Valheim, actually. I'm kind of tempted to do more Valheim. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, we've got a lot happening next week um, because there is... Uh, I think Scorched Earth may be coming out on Monday. Um, let me see. <sighs> when is it coming out? Wait, tomorrow? Sunday. I think Scorched Earth might be coming out on Sunday. I don't know yet. Who knows if it'll come out when it's supposed to. It gets delayed so many times. So maybe we'll be doing that like next week. Um, and then Chapter 4 for Conan is coming out on tuesday the second 
Um, so it'd be kind of nice to do a bit of Cozy Valheim until then, you know, just kind of vibe out and whatnot and build and stuff. So thank you everybody so much for all the support and I will see you soon. Join the Discord, follow the Twitter, follow the Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, all the good things. If you want to watch in my previous Valheim content, there's like a whole no portals challenge on uh, YouTube as well. And if you want to see the, the day when my boat capsized on a permadeath run, there's a video about that too. All right, lovely people. See you soon.